Musaeus, thy love makes me immortal. Methinks since thy embrace has filled my womb, there's no earth in me, I'm all divine. There's nothing in me mortal save this shape, whose beauty hath called Zeus himself from heaven. Leave us, you unworthy to attend or wait upon the beauteous simile. I know my issue when it grows to life will be the seed of gods. Lives there on earth a princess equally loved and graced by Zeus himself? Out on thee, trumpet! I could tear those eyes whose beauty drew my husband from the skies. Am I not happy? If you were sure, twere Zeus himself who did this happiness procure. Madam, there are many foul impostors be that blind the world with their unchastity. I know him as heaven's king, whose issue in my womb I feel so spring. I think it not, but lady, this I know, that gods are so lascivious grown of late, that men contend their lusts to imitate. Not Zeus. How have you been the while since you were breeding? Now well, sometimes ill, subject to every imperfection still, apt to all chances other women be? Well, how shall I prove him? When you see him next, seem with some strange and uncouth passion vex, and beg of him a boon, which till he grant, swear he no more your favours shall enchant. What boon? to love and embrace you in that state in which fair Hera he embraced so late, to descend armoured with celestial fire and in that majesty glut his desire. So, be you sure he is a god indeed, obtain this boon, and fairly may you speed. My chamber ready make, for we this night must tumble in the mighty Zeus' arms, of whom I'll beg the immortal sweets of love, such as from Zeus the imperial Hera tastes. Thy boon will bring thy death, and my revenge. What means the strangeness, Emily? I have preferred thy beauty before hers, whose state fills heaven. And am I thus received? What see I in thee to prove thyself a god? Ask what thou wilt to prove my deity. Grant me one boon. My arms shall then spread wide to embrace my love. Seal a thousand kisses on thy lips, and lay myself as prostrate to thy love, as the earth her grass-green apron spreads for rain. Speak. Shall I ask, or have you power to grant? By dreadful sticks, an oath I cannot change, but ask and have. Then bed with me tonight, armed with the self-same godhood, state and power you hear me. Thy weak mortality cannot endure the scorching fires of heaven. Either you cannot do it as wanting might, or loath you are to breed me such delight. Is this your love? Thy death is in thy boon. Away. We will have none partake our pleasures. the hour that shall deify my earth. Descend, great Zeus, in thy full majesty and crown my pleasures. of thy race, fair Semele, fold unto thy arms, Olympic Zeus. What terror is this? How immortal speak! 
weak. My eyes are for thy majesty too weak. Semele thus slain, the heavens shall mourn, the oceans for her slaughter shall weep brine. Fair Semele is naught but ashes now, but this remainder that can never die I will conserve till his full time of birth. His name I'll Bacchus call, and being grown style him the god of grapes. His bacchanals shall be renowned at feasts when their light brains swim in the fumes of wine. This, all that's left of Semele, unto the heavens I'll bear, whose death this motto to all mortals lends. They die by the gods that above man contend.